Is Brad here or not? She looks mad. Maybe you shouldn't tell her. He's here. Where? He's right beside you. Brad? Yeah. He hears you. Go ahead. I want you to know that I love you. That I knew? And I want you to do something for me. Whatever you want. I want you to go. To move on or cross over. What? No. You, I want no, to move you don't on with that. my life, and I can't do that with you here. Yes, you can. I want to get on with my life, and I can't do that with a ghost, so please just go and leave me alone. Brad did that. He wants you to stay. It's good to see you again, Pam. It's a lovely necklace. I wore it for you. You're known to be a connoisseur of diamonds. Oh, you've done your research, I see. And who's that? Oh, this is, uh, this is Jacob. He's my wingman. I find he comes in handy when seeking favors from beautiful women. And precisely what favor are you seeking? Uh, well, I was hoping there might be opportunities within your company. I do have a background in real estate. Well, we could talk about that, but uh, what about your responsibilities? Oh, Jacob, he's, uh, he's not mine. Well, uh, I'm going to cut to the chase, Pam. I want to stay here. Therefore, I need a job. Can you help me? Buy me another drink. I don't think you're going to find anything, Molly. I think you're just wasting your time. I promised Meg I would look, so even if I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, I still have to give it a shot. Don't you start your job at WAK soon? I think you should be focusing on that. I will, but I... Molly, you're not going to find anything, okay? As much as I wish it wasn't true, my sister is sick, and there is nothing in that computer that's going to help her. I, I know the hearing is scheduled for this afternoon. By the time I check out of here, Eliza will be asleep and I'm going to miss her birthday and I would have missed everything. So why can't I just see my little girl on her birthday? Why won't you let me do that? I can't say. Do they think I'm dangerous? That I, I would hurt her? Because I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. What are you writing in there? I, I just asked a question. Is that not allowed? Why can't I see my little girl? I just want to see my little girl! There's the birthday Happy girl. Birthday, oh, Happy birthday, Eliza. She keeps asking for her mom. I think I'm going to bring her by to see Meg. Oh, would, would the hospital okay then? No, I think it would be the most detrimental thing at this point. Well, then why argue with the expert? Because there's nothing worse for a woman than being kept from her child. You of all people should know that. This has got to stop. I mean, why can't you just let go of this fantasy? Don't you threaten my wife. Is that Meg? That's enough. Don't call here again. What did she say? More of the same. If she can't have me, then she'll destroy the both of us. When are they letting her out of the hospital? I believe today or tomorrow. She was only being held there for observation. But she's still threatening us. I mean, how do we stop this? Or her family could help. You want me to talk to Holden? I want you to be safe, Kara. <laughs> Meg's violent. Releasing her today will be a big mistake. I'll never convince Holden of that. I mean, I could barely get him to agree to send her to Deerbrook in the first place. Uh, what do you think is going to happen if they release Meg today? She'll try to hurt us again. Yeah, and what if one of the kids get caught Don't in the Don't even say line? that, Damien. Look, she's got to be stopped, Lily. And you're the only one who can make Holden see that. can't I talk to my doctor? If he's the one who won't let me see my little girl, why can't he tell me why? I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, hi, my name is, is Paul, and I have a, a visitor's pass. Um, yeah, here it is. And, uh, Meg and I, we have a child together, Eliza, and you may have heard it's her birthday, so I, I dropped by some birthday cake and some digital photos, and of course... No, I, don't, I don't want clothes. digital photos! I and, want an uh, explanation! Just, 
Jenny. Well, I, you know, this will just have to do. And it, if you'd like, I'd love to slice of the cake at the desk there for you. It's chocolate. Why are you talking about cake? Listen to me. I need to see you slice. Yeah, well, this will, you know, just have to do. Try to stay calm. She'll stay calm. She will. Promise. Don't be mad. Thanks. Knock yourself out. Wait, she called you? I didn't think Meg was allowed to make phone calls. Well, apparently she got hold of a phone. And if she's able to do that under supervision, imagine what she'll do when she's out of there. What did she say to Damien? Maybe he misunderstood her. My husband doesn't misunderstand threats. Meg already tried to kill him once. I don't want to give her the chance to do it again. Lily, I understand your concern. What are you going to do about it, Holden? I will talk to Meg's doctor before the hearing this afternoon. Hearing? Yeah, a judge is going to decide whether or not Meg can come home or whether or not she should stay at Deerbrook. Well, will you talk to the judge and explain what she's done and, and tell him to keep her there longer? Look, uh, I'm sorry about what Meg did. I'll be sure to talk to the doctor. We'll take it from there. You know what? I'll talk to the judge myself. Damien and I will see you at the hearing. time before the hearing, so we need to go over some damage control, all right? Why? They've already made up their mind about me. No, you can't give up hope. You can't. Trust me, I've been in this situation. You want to leave here with the marbles that you came with, you gotta, you gotta follow the game plan. Okay, so what do you mean? Well, don't argue with them, even if you know that you're right. Okay, like the way I just did? Yeah, like the way you just did. Smile and agree with them and hide your anger and act sane even though inside you feel like you're going nuts. Anything else? Well, don't take the meds. You're a nurse, you know what they do. <sighs> Damien always told me that you were such a controlling person. And here I am locked up because of him. Because I trusted him. You want to get back at Damien? You get out of here and you come home. And you forget you even met him. I want that so much. Well, then do it. For her sake. You are very charming. Oh, you just seem to bring out the best of me, Pam. What can I say? <laughs> Tell me, what would happen if I wanted to follow through on this flirtation we're having? I thought so. <laughs> it doesn't mean we can't make sweet money together. I agreed on having drinks out of curiosity, Simon. I never had any intention of going into business with you. And why is that? The last building you developed collapsed. Oh, these things happen. You've been associated with the mob. Desperate times. And then there was that little incident involving the theft of a priceless necklace from a foreign prince. I can't believe going to do what he's going to do. What are you saying, Pam? That you disapprove of me? Look, I have no problem with your past, but the man sitting in front of me, the declawed cat burglar, the super manny in search of hearth, home, and... Stability? You're all about playing it safe now, Simon. And doing business with the new you doesn't interest me at all. 